What's up, guys? My name's Big Z Racing. I'm back to another diecast review. And today we're going to be reviewing Ryan Blaney's Richmond Menards Ford Mustang from the playoffs in 2019, in which it came out in 2020 Wave 1. This looks like a really good diecast, and I think it'll be a good one. Let's skip the unboxing and get into the review. <laughs> Now that we have the car out of the box, so let's look at the uh, thing that comes with it first, and that would be the round of eight sticker, which I don't really like these stickers, but it's the box item that comes with it. I don't know what you would call it, but you can't even get the back of it off. Like, it's just not even a sticker. It's basically just, like, there. But, yeah, like, it's hard to peel, and I'm just like, I'll just keep it like this. But, yeah, I would love to use it as a sticker and put it, like, on the back of my laptop or phone case. It's like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with a round of eight sticker. But it was like that with the old ones. Because I remember they used to do it with like Tom and Jessica and Casey Kane. So. Well now. Next time you make a sticker with a diecast. Make sure to put a thingy around with it. So you can peel it off. Better than that. Pretty cool sticker. I mean. Woo. <laughs> the round of eight has no significance to me. But uh, that's not why you're all watching this video. Uh, you're watching it for this bad boy. The. Ryan Blaney, Richmond Menards, playoff Ford Mustang. Now let's get to the left side of the car, and we have no contingencies, and we have the round of 12 logo. We have 12, we have Knopf, and we have Moen, or Nauf, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. We have Menards. We have Richmond uh, Water Heaters. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Water Heater Experts. We have American Ethnot, and we have a paint chip above the S. We have found our first paint chip already of the review. We have Dex Imaging as it decides to go unfocused. Please focus back so I can do the B pillar. Okay, that's not. I just. It wouldn't be uh, one of my reviews if it did, if it focused with it. Well, you know what? I'll I'll look at it for you. I I see Ford, PPG, and Moen and Freightliner. There you go. There's your B pillar sponsors. We have Ryan Blaney on the A pillar. And we have Menards, Ford, and 12 on the bumper. We have the playoff green spoiler. And let's play a game of Do You Know Your Sponsor on the back. We have Maytag, Kodak, uh, not Kodak, my bad. Kid, Kiday, Kiday, maybe. We have Libman. We have Jack Links. We have Cardell. We have. Uh, I don't know. Moen, Duracell, and we have a few others. That I can't really see do it to not be focused. We got right side is same as the left. I think that's standard for every review at this point. Front of the car, Mustang uh, logo, and we have Ford, Penzl, Richmond water heaters. We have 12 on top. And I'm not used to doing the deck lid first, but uh, yeah, this car is pretty good. I like this paint scheme a lot. Uh, I, I don't know how, because this car didn't actually even run in the playoffs. It says it's a round of 12 car. Well, that makes sense, because it comes with a round of 8 sticker. When it was a round of 16 paint scheme. Yep. Good job, Lionel. You done a good one there. But, yeah. You, you ain't too great with your consistency with this type of stuff. I'm pretty sure on the Austin Cindric, you may... No, oh, Austin Cindric's actually round of eight. You, you did good on that one. But this one you did screw up pretty well. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. Y'all have done... Spin Master done a lot worse with their playoff cars. For example, the Jeff Gordon orange car. I forget what it was for, but my bad. Sorry. But uh, it was like a, they called it a round of eight when it was a round of 16. They didn't call it a race winner when it won a race. It was just all kinds of messed up. But it got produced. It was a cool car. That's all that mattered to me. And I was a Jeff Gordon fan. This is a round blame review. But guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more diecast reviews, NASCAR Heat 5 news, and NASCAR Heat 4 gameplays till NASCAR Heat 5 comes out. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. See you in the next one. Peace. Have a good day.